Hey, can't sleep either? Yeah, it's way too hot tonight, isn't it? Mind if I sit? Thanks. Hmm? Oh no, your sibling passed out right away. I don't know how they do it. They refuse to let me in on their secret. I know, shocking, right? <laughs> how are they? I think they're feeling a little better after today. I'm glad we convinced them to go out with us. I know that one needs a good cry after a breakup, but I hate to see them just wallowing in it. Yeah, breakups really suck. Like, it hurts no matter the circumstances, but in their case, it must be horrible to think the relationship is perfectly fine and then getting dumped out of the blue. I think they're still really struggling to understand what really happened. Right? I thought the person they dated was really decent as well. They were always super kind and respectful. Your siblings seemed so relaxed and comfortable around them. I was honestly really happy for them both when they got together. They hadn't exactly been very lucky on the relationship front. But then this happened. <sighs> Dating is kind of exhausting, isn't it? I mean, you meet someone you like, you get to know them, you open up to them, then some shit goes down and you break up. And then you can go do it all over again with another complete stranger. Sometimes I'm just like, what's even the point? Like, why do we bother? Because we don't like being alone? Yeah, guess you're right. Well, what about you then? How are you doing in the relationship field? Shitty? What, have you been dumped worse than your sibling? I don't think that's possible. You don't know what you want in a relationship? Well, that's okay. I mean, we're constantly figuring out stuff in life, aren't we? Oh, please. I think we both already realized that no one actually has anything figured out. Like, ever. We're all just pretending we know what we're doing. That's true. I know what I want in a partner, but... That doesn't mean you have to know as well. We're two different people. You can't really compare that. What about me? What do you mean? Oh, relationship-wise, um, nothing special either. The last person I went out with was alright, but I don't want to settle for that, you know? I don't want to settle for someone who will make me happy enough, who will check enough boxes off my list. Hey, I don't have high standards. I just want the real thing. All this online dating stuff feels like playing pretend. Come to think of it, I don't even know why I keep hoping I'll find the right person in a stranger. Maybe I should be looking at people I already know instead. What I mean is, isn't it easier to fall for someone you actually know? Meeting people online, there's always some sort of facade. There's often something hidden or fake. But that won't happen with someone who's already been in your life for a while. Take us, for example. We may not know each other perfectly, but we've gotten pretty close over the past few years that I've been hanging out with your sibling. I don't exactly know your favorite color or your allergies, but I know who you are as a person. Look at what you've done for your sibling today to cheer them up. You wouldn't have done that if you didn't care about them. Hey, I never said that was a bad thing. I think it's an amazing thing. I guess... I just don't understand why you wouldn't let people see this side of you. The way you are right now. I can think of only a few other occasions where you were this open and honest. With me, at least. Are you, like, scared of getting hurt? Being emotional doesn't make you weak. 
I don't see you that way. Your sibling definitely doesn't see you that way either. You're never gonna gain anything if you don't let people in, you know. You could miss out on some amazing things that way. I think that would be a shame. It's okay if you don't want to talk about it. I just thought I'd tell you how I see it. Wait, you want to what? Jump in the pool? You do know it's like 2 a.m., right? Alright, you're the crazy one. Just to be completely clear, though, I'm not skinny dipping with you. I am 1,000% keeping my underwear on. Was that disappointment I just saw on your face? Jeez, keep it in your pants. What? No, I'm not going skinny dipping with you. Not even out of pity. No, your sibling would kill us both. And then themselves, probably, because of how cringe that situation would be. So deal with it. You're just going to have to settle for my incredible hot pink t-shirt. Yeah, I just said it's hot, didn't I? Now get in the water before I fucking push you. Oh my god, this is fucking wonderful. You okay? You looked a little lost in thought for a minute there. Are you sure? You can tell me if there's something on your mind. You know I won't judge. Of course, what's up? Wait, what are you doing? Shit, I, I better get back. Uh, get back to the house before, before your sibling notices I'm gone. I'll see you in the morning. Please don't tell them about this, okay?